Hey guys, Movie Fan here. Today, I'm going to be talking about something that really I, I don't want to talk about, but this has been grinding on me for well over a year. As we all know, Jason David Frank committed suicide, and his wife, Tammy Frank, she hasn't really said anything lately, but at, during that time, everybody was blaming her for the cause of it. And at the same time, she tried to, you know, claim some stuff, saying that, you know, it really wasn't her fault and all that. And that allegedly they were even getting back together. Well, anyway, I'm here to come out and say what I probably should have said a long time ago. The fact that I hold her responsible for this. Yeah, I do. I actually do hold her responsible for it. Because you know what? This is exactly what happened to my brother. Literally. His wife was going to leave him. And he ended up killing himself. She did exactly the same thing. No lie. Because with Tammy, she claimed that they were getting back together. And there's more than enough witnesses who saw her serve him divorce papers right there at the Comic-Con. And furthermore, when she claimed that they were working it out at a bar, well, assuming that's true, which I doubt, when they got back to the hotel, they had a huge argument. And... People who worked there had to pretty much kind of intervene. Multiple witnesses saw this. If, assuming they were getting back together, why would he kill himself? And even more so, after it happened, she said in a little uh, post that she's been harassed. And yeah, that's true. Everybody was harassing her. Not me. I, I don't do that. And besides, I don't see the point in doing it. But a lot of people were. And I can't say that I blame them. However, she said something really strange towards the very end of that post. She actually said this, quote, unquote. Since Jason's death, I have been harassed online and can no longer stand to watch my husband's good name slandered. Who is slandering his name? Who? Nobody was slandering his name. They were slandering her. And that's the truth. Nobody has been slandering his name. And furthermore, something happened during the funeral which doesn't make any sense to me at all. In fact, I find this to be very shocking. Now, when I saw it, it was hard to watch. It really was. It was very painful. And I've drifted in and out. But later on, I did go all in and watch the whole thing. And I couldn't help but notice none of the original Power Rangers were there. I can think of three possibilities to explain this. The first... Maybe it was too painful for some of them. After all, Amy Jo Johnson, she was really hurt when she found out that Jason died. And that is possible that for like David Yost, that might have been hard for him too because he was a close friend. Possibility number two, they may not have been able to make it. Cause, and which, which makes sense because let's get real, folks. They're not literally next door to each other. They are across the country. Amy, of course, is in Canada. So, yeah. And, you know, with all the stuff they had going on, they might not have been able to make it. The third and most likely reason I can think of, they weren't invited. And I can only think of one person who was in charge of that whole venture that just refused to invite him. Tammy. Because we all know how this goes, folks. Usually, the spouse or the kids will send letters, emails, you know, the works, to friends, family that they can get a hold of, and, you know, ask them, would you please come? And I don't think she invited him at all. Now, granted, we don't know that for sure, because obviously the only ones who could really answer that question would be the original Rangers themselves, Amy, Walter, David, and Austin. And yes, even Steve, Karen, and of course Johnny. But you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't do that, guys. And I don't insist that anybody ask them. Not because I don't want to be proven wrong, but because can you just picture that? Asking them, were you ever invited to the funeral? How terrible would that be? So I wouldn't ask that question. And I would anybody who's watching this, please do not try to do that. Please don't. Seriously, don't. That that would not be right at all. And besides, do we need to really ask that question? Because 
they had no footage on their emails or anything of the funeral. It was just that one footage. So it speaks for itself. If she didn't serve him those divorce papers, if she didn't, you know, do all this, he probably would be alive right now. Granted, we found out that he was battling depression for years, which we had no idea because they kept it quiet. But let's get real, folks. That was the last straw when she did that. So yeah, I hold her responsible. And she's got to live with that because we're never going to let her forget it. And that's the truth. This is Movie Fan, signing off.